Have you ever wanted to ask your doctor what they thought about the keto or ketogenic diet? If your doctor is anything like mine, they'll look at you like you got three heads and have no idea what you're talking about. And it's not their fault. You spent more time binge watching your favorite TV show last weekend than what they spend the entire time in medical school learning about nutrition. So I found 10 doctors that have taken the time to study nutrition on their own, learned about the keto diet, and they can tell you all about it in their own words. Stick around. So we've already established that your doctor probably doesn't know a whole lot about nutrition. They know all about what kind of pills to give you because that's what they're trained to do. The last estimates we have are six hours of training in medical school on nutrition. That's not gonna cut it. And the statistics show that that number is actually going down. So I found some doctors that have gone back to the old Hippocratic Oath that they all take when they become a doctor. Hippocrates said, Let thy food be thy medicine, and thy medicine be thy food. And so these doctors have embraced that and gone back to the old ways, which are the best ways. Most of them you probably know, a few of them you don't, but I'm gonna leave links to all the videos down there in case you wanna watch the full video. And make sure you stick around till the end because I'm gonna give you one bonus doctor that you may not have ever thought about. So let's get into the first one. Dr. Mike, who is a family physician, is gonna tell you about the keto diet. What the heck is ketogenic diet? <laughs> Quickly lose weight. Fats with benefits. Satiates your appetite. Ketosis. Ketosis. Butter is good. Explain yourself. The ketogenic diet. Let's break down what all this hype is about. The standard American diet consists of 35% of fats, 15% of proteins, and 50% of carbs. Now, if you're looking at the ketogenic diet, the numbers are quite different, with 75% being fats, 20% being proteins, and only 5% being carbs. Think about that. That's 10 times less carbs than in the standard American diet. Claim number one, the ketogenic diet is good for weight loss. Yeah, the ketogenic diet is good for weight loss, and this happens through two important mechanisms. First, since you're using fats as your primary energy source, you're burning a lot of stored fat. Second, because fat is very satiating, makes you feel full, when you eat a high fat content meal, you actually don't wanna eat as much, therefore you limit the amount of calories you take in throughout the day. Claim number three, the keto diet prevents or manages many chronic diseases. This is a yes and no answer. Where keto diet really shines is in type two diabetes. Because when you have type 2 diabetes, you have insulin sensitivity issues, you have high sugar content in the blood, and research has shown over and over again that the ketogenic diet for type 2 diabetes works. So that was great information, but how about this guy, Dr. Andreas Enfeldt, who's also a family physician. Let's see what he has to say about it. All the papers are writing about it, and the interest online is just exploding. What does the word mean? keto mean. Basically, the body can run on two different fuels. One is sugar from carbohydrates in the food we eat, and that's what most people today primarily use. Let's say if they're eating bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, etc. The other fuel is fat. A keto diet is a very low-carb diet, so low in carbs that the body has to switch to mainly using fat for fuel. For example, from real foods like eggs, meat, avocados, butter, olive oil, nuts, etc. Even the brain can become fueled by fat. When the body is out of sugar, fat is converted in the liver into energy molecules called ketones that fuel the brain. And the diet that results in this is called ketogenic. The basic idea is super simple and based on real foods. You simply avoid most carbohydrates like sugar, processed junk food, bread, pasta, rice, etc. And instead, you eat meat, fish, eggs, vegetables, and natural fats like butter. Whatever you're doing, continue to do what you're doing. At some point, he said, don't lose any more weight. <laughs> I lost 200 pounds in roughly 18 months. I lost 80 pounds. 80 pounds, wow. I lost 100 pounds in a year. That hunger that I had for my entire life wasn't there. Her energy level, 
and much like mine, our mental well-being has improved as, as much as our physical health. I went from 374 pounds to 139 pounds. I would have never believed that within my lifespan, I would have my life back like this. Now, I had never heard of him before I started watching a lot of videos about keto, but he has some great information. But I bet you'll recognize this next guy. His name is Dr. Josh Axe, and he is a doctor of natural medicine. And he has some interesting things to say about keto. You've got the most popular diet, keto. It's just sweeping the country, keto diet. And you came up, is this your deal? I mean, keto? Yeah, you know, one of the issues is, is that if somebody, somebody doesn't follow the keto diet the right way, and where, let's say they're following the keto diet, but they're, they're just eating meat yeah. and, you know, and then just maybe some processed oils. That's going to cause inflammation. This diet really allows people to reduce inflammation. Okay. It allows them to boost their metabolism, to lose weight very quickly. Also, it balances the hormone insulin, which helps with blood sugar, which also helps with weight loss and also supports them reversing disease keto pancakes, keto cookies, wow. but doing it the healthy way. What they've shown through a study is that by following a keto diet, right. it can help improve and get rid of ovarian cysts, can also help with hot flashes, can help with thyroid, adrenal issues, but it helps balance hormones because when you get rid of the sugar yeah. and the grains and you consume healthy fats, okay. it actually balances your hormones. So on the keto diet, it's consuming a lot of fat, right. moderate protein, and low carbohydrates, but doing it in a healing fashion. Thanks. Yeah, eggs are great. Now, the big thing is you want to buy pasture-raised eggs, not the conventional. In fact, you ever notice when you crack open an egg, if it's a light yellow yolk, it's not very nutrient-dense, but if it's that orange color, it means it's got more omega-3 fats, beta carotene, vitamin E. So if you're doing those good organic eggs, Eggs are a great form of healthy fat. Yeah, you know, the government pyramid is like 60 to 70% of your diet's carbs. And then all everybody started getting diabetes and gaining weight because of the government food pyramid versus if you look at what our ancient ancestors ate yeah. and the diet they ate in the Bible, they were consuming a lot of wild caught meat, a lot of vegetables they'd grown. Now, I know you've heard about Dr. Eyes, and he's coming up later on. This is Dr. Baez. She's a doctor of internal medicine. So let's see what she says about the keto diet. Number one is to describe this diet, think of it as no sugar, no starch, high fat. In my clinic, I use the word anti-inflammatory diet when they are, if they don't like the word keto, I'll just say it's the best anti-inflammatory diet that I can help you with. Number two, I want you to remember the number 20. Hang on to that number, we'll come back to it. Number three, is I actually want you to go spend some money. I want you to go to your pharmacy and buy urine ketone strips. This diet has a lot to do with behaviors and habits, and as we change those behaviors and habits, you cannot believe how tempted patients are and people are for those carbohydrates. And if they're in the cupboard next to you, it's like asking a an alcoholic to serve alcohol at the bar. Step number seven is to actually eat enough fat to feel full. This is a really important concept that I have done very um, countercultural uh, experiments with my patients to say, I need you to eat until you feel full. The last rule for a quick start on a ketogenic diet is eat only when you're hungry. This is very important that you eat until you're full and then don't eat unless you're hungry. So if it says, hey, it's time for supper, but I don't really have any hunger pains, Zip it, don't eat. You probably know this guy either from the clip that I'm gonna show here or one of the later movies that's out. And I would say he was probably most likely carnivore, but let's see what happens when he eats the keto or carnivore diet. Now, if you've watched any videos about keto at all, you probably recognize this guy, Dr. Sean Baker. He's a bodybuilder and his background in medicine is he was a combat trauma surgeon. So he was in Afghanistan, in the military, took care of our troops. Let's see what he has to say about keto. 
Yeah. So, I mean, some of you guys know I, I'm a proponent of a carnivore diet. I've been doing a carnivore diet for almost now, going on to my eighth year soon. And I generally, you know, people think, well, a carnivore diet is automatically ketogenic. Well, it's actually not. It, it may not be in many cases. It depends on how much protein you're eating, how much food you're eating, how often you're eating. And so those variables you can change up. And so I've not really been tracking ketones because it, it really, I think, he, I think the state of ketosis can be very therapeutic. And so because I was still having quite a bit of pain, difficulty sleeping, you know, you know, it's just every time I turn my head to the side, shooting pain down my arm, I said, okay. well, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take a period of time and specifically try to put myself in a relatively therapeutic range of ketosis to see what this does to this. And so I'm on uh, day five of this right now. Then I'll, mm. uh, so I said, well, I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to drive myself towards ketosis. And so what I did was I reduced the volume of food I'm eating. So I'm eating less food. I increased the fat percentage up significantly. Normally, I eat about 60% of my calories are coming from fat. Now, I'm closer to probably 80, 85%. Uh, and, and I'm, you know, kind of putting a little more fasting time in there. Um, I am, you know, I'm still exercising because exercise is, is generally going to be productive. Mm -hmm. uh, and, th and those are the major things, that, major things I've been doing. And I've been able to, I think it took me about two days to get into a fairly relatively deep level of ketosis. Um, now, this next guy you're sure to recognize because he's all over the place on TV and has been for years. He was offered the job of Surgeon General at one time. His name is Sanjay Gupta, and he's a brain surgeon. So, pretty smart guy, but he took the time also to figure out nutrition on his own. Let's see what he has to say. Pros, cons, are you for the keto diet? I think the keto diet, you can lose a lot of weight mm -hmm. uh, and you can do it pretty quickly. The idea is that you're putting your body into a state of ketosis. That's why it has its name. You're, you're not eating any sugar. You're not eating any carbs. You're mainly eating fat and that changes. So you will lose weight. Some of you will probably recognize this next guy, Dr. Eric Westman. He's a doctor of internal medicine and also on the staff at Duke University Medical School, one of the most prestigious schools in the country. He's been studying the ketogenic diet for over 20 years, and in his experience, this is what he says. Well, as you recall, I've been using and studying low-carb keto diets for about 20 years now, and I was teaching my patients here at Duke University, and an interesting thing changed. There was a, oh, how should I say, explosion of the internet keto information. So if you think that uh, keto diet has to be difficult, it ha you have to calculate macros and use apps, you have to write down everything you eat, you have to buy expensive, fancy foods, guess again. <laughs> so you don't have to do all that. So Lazy Dirty Keto is the name for what I've been teaching and recommending for about 20 years. <laughs> so, and, it, and I learned recently that it's kind of looked down upon by people, I had no idea that telling people to eat burgers and steak and and uh, just eating real food was was a bad thing. You don't have to buy special products and oils and and make special bone broth things like that. So today, lazy keto by the keto zealots out there or or the definition of keto diet. Lazy keto means you don't write things down. You don't you don't have to use an app. You don't have to calculate macros, and that's what I've been doing for a long time. So, so now the dirty part is fascinating. If you're looking for more information on keto and you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And when I come out with another video like this, you'll know about it. So when someone says it's dirty keto, that might mean that you go to a restaurant. You know, you don't food prep all the time, or you go to fast food, or uh, uh, you know, I've been teaching this kind of simple version of a low carb keto diet for obesity and diabetes reversal. So it, whether you go to a burger place or a sub place, it's okay, or a chicken sandwich place. To me. You know, to other people, that means it's dirty keto. You're not getting the best food ever on earth. You're not using every dollar that you spend to change the food environment. If I had to require people to do that, I could not meet my patients where they are today. The, the keto diet would be kind of an elitist sort of thing that only people who can afford the best foods, organic foods, the food at the farmer's market, or, or, you know, God forbid you didn't split a cow with your neighbor and, and know its name. Lazy, dirty keto might mean, you know, 
bad things, it, it's fine with me if you do it correctly, uh, you know, meaning you're eating real food, not fake foods, and uh, as much as you want the meat, poultry, fish, and shellfish, and eggs, a limited amount of vegetables and oils and, and creams works like a charm for obesity treatment and reversal of type 2 diabetes. So lazy, yeah, I'm going to let other people do the work for me. Dirty, well, you know, you got to get your knees and, and uh, you know, shoes dirty sometime, right? So not to worry. Lazy Dirty Keto is what I've endorsed and used for 20 years now at Duke. I'm sure that nobody watching this video right now does not recognize this guy. From his start on the Oprah Winfrey Show, he's been on TV for the last 20 plus years talking about everything from diet, exercise, foods, superfoods, and everything in between. This is Dr. Oz and his take on the keto diet. It's not a plan you have to buy or sign up for. It's not special food you have to have delivered or even a complicated book you have to read. The keto diet is simply a shift in how you eat that claims to turn your body into a fat-burning machine. The ketogenic diet is a high-fat, low-carb eating plan. Eating more fats and very few carbs puts your body into ketosis, a metabolic state where your body burns fat instead of carbs for fuel, often leading to rapid and substantial weight loss. And let's face it, keto is everywhere. Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and people in your own life are all singing the praises of a ketogenic diet. It works. It is not hard to stick with. That was my biggest. I lost 40 pounds in 12 weeks. Steak, burgers, bacon, even cheese, and you lose weight. The keto craze has thousands of people trading in their carbs for a high fat frenzy, and they say they don't miss the sugar or the bread. So when you're in ketosis, that means the liver is making ketones. Ketones are a fuel that get put into the bloodstream. So one of the first things you would notice is increased energy. You have this, this super fuel that your body is creating from fat that's now in your bloodstream. Uh, one of the things that people notice is they no longer crave sweets as much. Uh, would, you, would you all like that, by the way? Which is huge, which is so, huge, yeah. yeah. So I, I want to point this out yeah. because the people I've talked to, like you, who are successful in keto diets say it's easy because they're not craving the foods they know they can't have. Right. So another reason or another way you might detect that you're in ketosis is you might smell it on your breath. A little metallic breath, a little sweet rotten apple breath or something like that. But it doesn't have to be bad breath. No, people, no, no. People no, think no. they're going to no, smell I... like the worst thing imaginable. No, no, no. no. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, then a, and then a final way is, is on urine strips. So, you know, you pee purple, right? It's a, that's one of the hallmarks of being in ketosis is it's demonstrated by the, by the urine. Yeah. So come on, I want you yeah. to show everyone what kinds of foods we sure. can and what we can't eat on this program. And again, Absolutely. people aren't shipping this to you in a box. You're going to actually make these decisions yourself. We, we're treating you like an adult because you should be treated like an adult to make wise decisions. So what is okay to eat? Green checks for keto. Right. Okay. So um, protein rich. These are clean proteins. So we got beef, pork, lamb, chicken, uh, turkey. So the, the, these meats have fats, obviously, which right. is what you're looking for, but you can get your fat without having to produce, you don't have to have a steak to get the fat. Absolutely not. So then we have uh, nuts and seeds uh, and oil. So we have uh, macadamia nuts, one of my favorites, pecans, uh, Brazil nuts, uh, avocado oil, uh, coconut oil, butter, ghee, um, uh, uh, full fat yogurt, for instance, and even some of the, you know, the fringe foods like unsweetened almond milk are okay. I'm just going to go through a couple of these things. First of yeah. all, so there's lots of things you can eat that are actually arguably good for you, but there are things, this is what throws docs off, mm -hmm. they're in the don't eat category, they're right. also good for you, right? right? I mean, we all know not to have soft drinks, but what's the problem with an apple or a potato, so, for example? Yeah, so apples, carrots, those are what we call high glycemic fruits and vegetables. So they convert to glucose pretty quickly in the bloodstream. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to reduce the amount of, glu of glucose that gets into the bloodstream because glucose shuts off ketosis, right? right? So we want to avoid bread, pasta, cereal, uh, cakes, candies, pies, cookies. I'm sorry, but, you know, that's what <laughs> that, that goes along with it. They're going to rush the stage. No, but look at all the good stuff you can eat, right? <laughs> so, so uh, you know, yeah. 
Mark, thank you very much. We'll be back. We'll check in in a second. So anyone who does keto knows their macros. That's the breakdown of how much fat, protein, and carbs are in their daily diet. And most keto people keep their macros at around 70% with 25% protein and about 5% carbs. But listen, everyone has their own approach. We are back talking about a ketogenic way of eating. When you hack your body into a state of ketosis, where you start burning fat for fuel. Now I'm joined by trainer Drew Manning, who swears by ketosis. And just to give you an example, a few years ago, Drew gained 75 pounds, there he is, to understand what it meant to be overweight so he could relate to his clients. Then what he did, he lost in six months all that weight. And he has maintained it through a ketogenic lifestyle. So what we're talking about today. I'm fascinated by the science, and thanks for bringing it to, to my attention, Dr. Axe, as well. The whole idea that we could hack our body to work more efficiently is pretty cool. And if nothing else has worked, like you're telling me, Candy, and so many folks at home, I like this idea. Maybe try it for just a couple weeks, see how it works for you. Because let's be clear, if you fall off the wagon and you have a little bun with that burger, right, and you reach for a carb, you're basically now on a high-fat, high-calorie diet, which is the opposite of what you want to be on. So it takes a very little bit of a mistake to make a big problem happen in your body. So can you be really strict about this? I can. Have you heard of keto? I want to do keto. Keto, keto is amazing. Keto. keto is the best thing that has ever happened to me. Tebow on keto. I plan to stick to keto. Keto. On the keto diet, You can't go anywhere or talk to anyone without hearing that word, keto. And listen, half your relatives are on the keto diet. The other half say they can't wait to start. But some revolutionary research taking the medical community by storm is showing doing keto the right way can not only result in weight loss, which I know you love, right, but may even help fight diseases like cancer and diabetes, even neurological conditions. Some doctors are even praising this type of ketogenic lifestyle with actually giving your brain more power. That I love. Now I promised you a bonus doctor, so here she is. She has immense knowledge on one subject in particular, Let's see what she has to say about keto. If there is one thing I truly love, it is a huge smoking hot hunk of meat. Wow, Dr. Ruth. Okay, maybe that was a bad example to use, but sounds like she's carnivore. But let's check out the next person, one of my favorite carnivores, talking about the keto diet, Dr. Ken Berry. You probably all know him, family physician and keto champion. And here's what he has to say about the keto diet. Word about the ketogenic way of eating is spreading like wildfire, and for good reason. Actually, for multiple good reasons. So, first and foremost, the ketogenic way of eating is low carb. That's very important for the ketogenic diet to work. Now, what you may not know is, is that there is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. There are no such thing as essential sugars, no such thing as essential starches. They don't exist. There is no such thing. You could take a human being and lock them up and feed them only fat and protein for the rest of their life, and they would do great. They would thrive. They would be vibrant and vigorous and happy. And so the ketogenic diet is a very low carbohydrate diet. So it's also a very high healthy fat diet. The next thing that you need to know about the ketogenic diet is that it's about whole real foods. The ketogenic diet is not about prepackaged Weight Watcher or Lean Cuisine frozen dinners that, that you might call them pseudo dinners because there's really no actual nutrition in them. The ketogenic way of eating is not about any product. There's no product for you to buy that you need to do keto right. The ketogenic way of eating is about eating real whole foods. If you can, or, or if you can afford organic and grass fed, that's great, buy those. If you can't afford those yet, that's okay. You can still keto. This is not a fad diet. This is not some new, weird, um, unheard of thing. Humans have been eating this way since the beginning of time and even before. What's actually the fad diet is the diet that we've been told to eat for the last 50 years, which is lots of whole grains, lots of carbs, eat low saturated fat, and eat lots of pre-processed products. That's the fad diet, not keto. The reason that we eat the low carb of keto is so that we can control our blood sugar and our insulin. It looks like the more research is done that high insulin levels pathologically, chronically high insulin levels lead to almost all the chronic diseases that modern man suffers from. So the, the ketogenic diet is very metabolically 
powerful. The next thing is I want you to know is that the ketogenic diet helps your body remember that it can burn fat as fuel. Another thing you need to know about the ketogenic diet is, like I've said before, it's very therapeutic. So many people with chronic inflammation, with chronic uh, immune diseases, notice when they start the ketogenic way of eating, their inflammation gets noticeably better. Their arthritis, their, their reflux, their GERD, their heartburn, their Crohn's, their irritable bowel, all of these inflammatory conditions just get better and go away. Many people notice that migraines get better and go away. They notice that their ADD, their PTSD, their anxiety, their depression, all of these things it looks like are coming, at least in part, from inflammation. Another thing that the ketogenic diet that I personally love about it is that it's delicious. You get to eat thousands upon thousands of delicious foods that, that have grown on the earth or that have run around on the earth. It's a completely natural diet. So that was a lot of information there. If you want more information, check out this video next, especially if you're just starting keto or even if you're a seasoned veteran, you're gonna get some tips in there that I think are gonna be useful for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.